What is going on, guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily Rewind. This is where we go back a week and give you all of your tech news. One single video, seven days of tech. I actually left out one of the days because it's just like basically a recap of where you can watch the uh, Galaxy Unpacked event, which has already gone by at this point. But anyways, this week is filled with Pixel 5, what it's going to look like. We find out how much faster the Galaxy S20 Ultra is going to charge over the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The pre-order gifts that you'll get with your Galaxy S20 device here in America. And so much more. So stick with it. Let me know what your favorite story is of the week and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. The official commercial from Samsung has already been released from Samsung. They played it on the Oscars. Let's check this out together. And we'll hit play right now. And you can see they're opening it up. They're laying it flat, they're opening it up, they're putting it at a 90 degree angle, showing that you can watch videos and control it on the bottom half of the video, close it up and get notifications on the back screen. And looks like two screens talking to each other on a video chat, that, that's pretty cool to be able to do the video chat thing on there. Change the shape of the future, unpack 21120. So after seeing the commercial, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it's kind of dragging me in making me kind of want this phone at this point. What about you guys? Next is a tweet from the official Samsung account saying the history of photography has a new chapter unpacked February 11th, 2020. And you can see this little video thing. It's just uh, it's showing basically, I think what they're gonna have is ultra smooth video uh, when you record. So the stabilization would be really, really good. Kind of like it is now. And the last two tweets are from Max Weinbeck showing off photos from the Galaxy S20 Plus. Not the, not, the, not the Ultra, which will have the best camera and the best zoom and all that stuff. This is from the Plus. So keep that in consideration. Let's check out these tweets. The first tweet says, okay, first photo is out of the main sensor, and the second is the 30 times zoom, both from the S20 Plus. Now, the first photo, when you look at it, you're like, okay, just a normal photo, and I totally agree with that. It's, you know, you can't really tell anything amazing about it. it. Just, it looks decent, whatever. The next photo, when we check that out, the 30 times zoom is very pixelated, very soft, nothing to be impressed about. I'm hoping they can improve this a lot, especially since that's gonna be a big selling point is zooming in on photos. And this just looks bad and yeah, I'm not impressed with that at all. His second tweet is a tweet of night mode uh, with the S10 versus the S20. I'm gonna zoom into the houses, I'll show that one uh, more. Here's the S10 first, and with the S10 you get that, you know, it's almost yellowy looking photo, sepia, I guess you could call it. It's definitely a softer image, definitely more blurry. When you check out the S20, it definitely competes with, I would say, the, the uh, nighttime mode on the Pixel phones. So this is a huge step up um, in clarity and just overall image quality with the new night mode on the S20+. Plus. And then lastly, just remember that the photos that we just looked at are definitely going to improve over time with software tweaks and they'll, they'll tweak the algorithms and everything. So I would fully expect these photos to look better regardless of, you know, just over time anyway. So to the tech news, as you can see, I am back from San Francisco, the Unpacked Event 2020. I had such a good time. It's a really fun time. It's more, I have way more fun just hanging out with other content creators, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them. And then the icing on the cake is to actually go to the event, watch the presentation, check out the new devices and stuff. It's just, it's so much fun. It's a great time. If you ever get the chance to definitely go, um, it's awesome. Anyways, let's get into the news. We have, a, a, it's mostly today's news is all about, um, the trade in offers that you'll get with your and trade in values you get with your phones. If you want to get the new uh, galaxy S 20 line of devices, um, release date, pre-order date, all that stuff. Let's jump into this. Now this comes directly from Samsung's website and the prices that you'll, you see right here are with a trade-in. And um, for the S25G, it's as low as $399. For the S25G, it's as low as $599. And for the S20 Ultra 5G, it's as low as $799. Now let's jump into the uh, trade-in values that you'll get for certain um, uh, phones that you trade in. So for Samsung devices, as you can see, uh, you get uh, for the Note 10, Note 10 Plus, you get $700, a really, really good trade-in value. 
S10, S10 Plus, 600, and then Note 9 and S10e, uh, $300, $300 for the S9s, uh, and then so on and so forth. It kind of goes down from there, uh, which the last phone it'll take is the S7 Active, uh, S7 series of phones for 200 bucks. For the iPhone 11 Pros, you'll get as much as $700. For the XS Max and iPhone 11 and the XS, you'll get 600 bucks and then you get $300 and then again down from there. Lastly, Google devices, if you have a 4 XL or 4, you get 600 bucks and then $300 and then $200 around from there. So not bad trade-in values actually for some of these devices. Now the S25 G only comes in 128 and is gonna be $399.99. The S20 Plus 5G comes in uh, two flavors. It comes in the um, $599 one for 128 or 512 for $749. Obviously you can see the prices to the right that are crossed out are gonna be $1199 and $1349 if you have no trade-in at all. So very expensive prices. And then for the S20 Ultra 5G, it comes in 128 and 512 and you can get that for $799 or $999 or real prices $1399 and $1599 which are without trade-in values. Other cool thing is you actually get $200 in Samsung credit on eligible products, uh, must-haves for less, take advantage of special savings on other great products including TVs, accessories, and more. So when you pre-order um, the phone, you'll end up getting a $200 Samsung credit at the same time so you can get some accessories. Now pre-orders will start on February 21st at 12.01 a.m. Eastern time, so basically midnight. And remember, if you're on the West Coast, you only have to wait till 9.01 p.m. on 220 so it's better for us i guess a little bit and then lastly is the samsung galaxy z flip it will be 1380 dollars but if you activate it on one of the carriers it drops down to about 1330 dollars that's the outright price um, i'm not sure about this the straight in tra uh, trade-in offers on the samsung's website because it's not showing it i'm assuming it's probably gonna be exactly the same as what the s20 is getting at least i hope it is also remember february 14th is the day you'll actually be able to purchase the Galaxy Z Flip, you won't, there's, doesn't look like there's gonna be any pre-order, so you'll have to go on, I would assume right at midnight, and you'll be able to purchase that, or hopefully you'll be able to go to in-store and pick it up from there. Best Buy, Samsung, Sprint, AT&T will have it, and then if you need it unlocked, it'll be Best Buy and Samsung's websites. Also remember February 14th, Galaxy Bud Pluses. If you don't already have them, you're thinking about getting getting them, get them. You'll really, really enjoy them. Really, really good headphones. I'll have a full review later, but I did do a unboxing slash first impression slash setup, setup on them that you'll be able to check out uh, linked down below. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, the elusive red color for the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus. As you can see right here, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, it is available, at least it will be, for pre-order in other countries. I know um, South Korea, you'll be able to get this color. Um, you'll also be able to get it, it looks like in Russia as well. Um, I, obviously not in America, I don't know if it'll ever come to America or you know Canada or other countries like that, but it is in select countries and if you're just curious what it looks like, it's a very candy apple, right? It's actually really nice looking color, really rich. I like it. What do you guys think? On Samsung's official website, they have some accessories that are sure to entice some people. First of all, they have 25 watt wireless battery packs and 25 watt battery pack, just a regular one that you would plug in. So these, the wireless one, obviously you should be able to plug in as well. So it has dual capacity in terms of being able to plug it in or place it wirelessly on the, the battery itself. This is great news because 25 watts is, as you know, is very, very fast. And to, ha to be able to portably do that, again, awesome. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is gonna be very expensive. So keep that in mind. The other one that's amazing is their dual and super fast car charger and as you can see you can charge two devices at once while you're out on the road one if you want to if you only do one you can do one up to 45 watts for their super fast charging or if you do um with up to 15 watts for quick battery boost so it looks like yeah if you do two it's probably going to end up being 15 watts but if you do one it's going to be 45 watts so again should be probably kind of expensive but a very cool accessory and the last story of the day is about the samsung galaxy z Flip, which you haven't, if you haven't seen my video, check it out. It is linked down below for you guys to check out my first impressions and all that. Uh, but regardless, it looks like it's sold out in South Korea in seven and a half 
hours. Now keep in mind, it looks like there was a, only about 900 units. And if uh, obviously if, when, when this comes to America or any other place, uh, tonight especially, so it looks like it's probably gonna go on sale at least through websites and stuff, I would assume, at midnight tonight. So make sure you check your <laughs> the online stores. I, like for instance, I know for me being on the, the West Coast, I'm gonna be checking at 9 uh, p.m. tonight um, because it's probably going to be midnight Eastern time that it goes on sale on websites and things like that. Uh, there'll be no pre-order. You should be able to go into store and pick it up tomorrow as well if you do that kind of thing. If it's like do store pickup or if you wait until the store opens and grab it that way as well. But it looks like it could potentially be a very popular item throughout the world. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip went on sale last night here in America. It's already pretty much sold out. It sold out very, very quickly on Best Buy's website. I can see, I just checked this morning. It looks like I could purchase an AT&T uh, black color, colored variant of this phone, but I wouldn't get it until Monday. There's no store pickup anywhere near me. There's basically no availability, even on the unlocked version at Best Buy either. On the Samsung website, they are completely out of stock for the unlocked version and the AT&T version. And the only version they have available, which is kind of news to me, I didn't realize it was coming out for Sprint as well. Uh, so there's a Sprint version, but you can only get it in black. And again, you wouldn't get it though until about February 18th. I did get my hands on a pre-order. I should be getting it actually tomorrow, Saturday. Um, when I do get it, I'll put out a video, let you guys know um, my true, true first impressions because I'll actually have it in hand and be able to really play with it. I already put a, a first hands on video uh, earlier in the, in the week because I was at uh, the Samsung event, but it's a little different when you have it at home. Next story is all about the Samsung Galaxy S20 version of phone. Now, if you know, those phones have 120 hertz display, but it only runs at 1080p plus, AKA full HD. Well, there's now a petition for it, for Samsung to actually change it. And the petition, I'll link it down below, is on change.org. And it says, by now we all know that the S20 series does not support 120 hertz refresh rate at max resolution. This is ridiculous, especially for those of us spending $1,400 on the S20 Ultra. Samsung, push a software update that allows this. We know it could negatively uh, affect battery. We do not care. Let us push to the phone to the limits. Warn us as we turn it on. Samsung, you have nothing to lose and many people to please. Do the right thing. Very easy to sign this. Uh, put your first name, last name, email, hit sign petition, and it's that easy. And hopefully this will do something for Samsung to actually do this change because why wouldn't they? Why? I, I feel like they're holding this back, not because so much of battery life, but because of the fact they want to add something in probably to the Note 20 that the S20 won't have. But they're right, they could just do a software update on this. A couple of reminders, Samsung Galaxy Bud Pluses are officially up for sale. So if you haven't pre-ordered these, you can actually order these right now. Uh, I've linked them down below for Amazon and also the Samsung website. So you know, check those links down below. And then lastly, a little news of note. This comes from Ice Universe. It says, for the current Galaxy S20 Ultra, the 45 watt charger can charge it in, uh, to 100% in 58 minutes. Its battery is 5,000 milliamps, so it is clear that the charging speed is faster than the Note 10 Plus. Definitely true. The Note 10 Plus um, has a smaller battery, and when I did my test with the 45 watt charger, it was taking over an hour to actually charge it, so this, that's definitely, without a doubt, faster on the S20 Ultra. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is if you have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, like myself, I have it. I have a video on this tomorrow, unboxing what I really think about it. Anyways, Samsung DeX is not on this device as of yet. Um, there is a rumor that it could come out as a update. As you can see right here, it did the same thing on the Galaxy Fold. So if you were thinking about getting the Galaxy Z Flip, you can potentially get it and then potentially, hopefully, get the DeX update in a later date. Also about the Galaxy Z Flip, I got my very first software update for this phone and, uh, where's the power button? There it is. 
uh, got the software update for this phone and what it included with it is, it brought me up to the February security update but it also added a feature that said, camera single take mode has been added. The camera angle can be switched between wide and ultra wide when tapping the camera preview on the cover screen. And what single take mode is all about is when the shutter button is pressed, the camera takes a number of photos and video clips with the different rear cameras for up to 10 seconds. It's like burst mode on steroids or as Samsung calls it, burst mode turned beast mode. So if you have the phone, check for the update and let me know what you think. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra here in the United States. And I've kind of already gone through this, but I guess I should have put more emphasis on it because it came up a couple times in some, um, you know, tweets and things that you guys have been reaching out to me about. I think it's tweets. Tweets or emails. Uh, regardless about the pre-order gifts that you get when you get the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra. And as you can see right here, not it doesn't look, look like you're going to necessarily get the Galaxy Bud Pluses uh, for you, but you will get a $200 instant Samsung credit on eligible products. Those eligible products should include the Samsung Galaxy Bud Pluses that you'll be able to use those for these. Um, you'll also obviously have money left over at that point. You'd have 50 bucks over or $235 total if you did the, the pre pre-order, the reservation. Um, so you can use that for more stuff as well. But yeah, you should be able to use it for these, but it's not necessarily coming with your device. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day and only story of the day, Pixel 5 XL renders of what it's going to look like. And uh, these come from front page tech. Uh, John Prosser, Prosser um, uh, put these out on his YouTube channel. And uh, he's saying these are what it's going to look like. Um, so let's talk about the look of this first of all. He's saying that the back is gonna have a soft matte glass back with a glossy camera module. And you see three cameras there with a flash in the middle. He makes great reference that it looks like a face and he's totally right on. It's a, it almost looks like a wall outlet here in America uh, when you plug in something, like a power outlet. It's pretty funny looking. Um, it, it looks like the camera sticks out from the back a little bit as well. Um, you get a white power button on the left and the uh, volume up and down below that. And then the cameras themselves, the bottom one looks like, or he's saying it's gonna be a wide angle camera lens. So it's a nice added feature. It should have been on the Pixel 4 and 4XL. They should have had a wide angle lens, they didn't whatever they will on the Pixel 5 XL. This is one of three designs that it could possibly look like. He didn't release the other two, but he's saying this is probably maybe potentially what it's going to look like. He didn't release, he said he has front photos uh, of this phone, but he said uh, he didn't release them because he's not completely sure he didn't get final verification. But he did say uh, the front will be quite similar to what you get with a Pixel 4 and for XL where it has um, the lip at the top and the bottom, a chin or whatever you want to call it. So not a huge change in that. Um, but yeah, uh, the overall looks doesn't really bother me. I don't think it looks horrendous. I don't think it looks amazing. And plus you're gonna have a speaker, uh, a case on it anyway. And how many times you look at the back of your phone. So it shouldn't be a huge deal. I fully expect for the Pixel 5 XL um, to have a Snapdragon 865 or an 865 plus at that point. I also think they're gonna up the RAM to eight gigabytes of RAM at that point. Last year's version had six gigabytes of RAM. Storage wise, I again, it had 128 as the high point. I expected to have 256 as the high point this year. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think they're gonna price the Pixel 5 XL at? And what features do you think it'll have to make it a competitive phone? And are you gonna buy it? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.